Hi, I'm Mike Golding. I'm a professional sailor and you may have caught me on the news or read about me battling against the waves on the world's ocean on my racing yacht Ekava. I've spent much of the past 30 years at sea and I'm well aware of both its magnificent beauty and awe-inspiring power. Today I'd like to talk to you briefly about the work of a maritime charity that's been serving the seafaring community for 170 years and yet you may not have even heard of it. I'm talking about the Shipwreck Mariners Society, or to give it its full title, the Shipwreck Fishermen's and Mariners Royal Benevolence Society. Founded in 1839, following the disastrous loss of a fleet of fishing boats after a storm off the north coast of Devon, the society was formed to give financial support to survivors of shipwreck and the widows and orphans of those tragically lost at sea off the coast of Britain. Today, thankfully, there are far fewer shipwrecks, although they happen far more frequently than you might imagine, and the devastating effect that they have on the lives of the families left behind is deeply distressing. As you may be aware, it's not unheard of for a fishing community to have a number of generations from the same family lost in a single tragedy. Today, the Shipwreck Mariners is extremely active in supporting those merchant seafarers who have often risked their lives over many years to ensure that we all enjoy the food and everyday commodities that make our lifestyles so comfortable. It's a fact that we simply don't appreciate the perils faced by those who work at sea, but although I love it in all its facets, I for one have the utmost admiration for what they do and the risks they face. So many who've made their living at sea find their livelihoods cut short, either through injury or illness, and they are no longer able to provide their families, often later in life when we all hope to enjoy our retirement. And for ex-seafaring families, their standard of living can be amongst the lowest in the country. The following are just a few examples from over 3,000 cases the Shipwreck Mariners has helped in the past 12 months. Having suffered a heart attack in 2000 and a stroke in 2002, a 62-year-old ex-mariner is now receiving treatment for asbestosis and spinal cancer. The society was able to purchase a special recliner chair to enable him to spend more time in the company of his wife rather than being bedridden for much of the time. In another case, a 43-year-old fisherman who lost an arm as a result of a winch accident at sea his personal circumstances deteriorated and he had to move to temporary accommodation. When he was given a council flat, the shipwrecked mariners were able to assist in equipping it. In a further case, having lost her husband, who'd worked at sea for 32 years, a widow of 90 suffering with arthritis in her hands and a previously broken hip, was in a desperate need of a cooker. The society was glad to be able to help and in her letter of thanks, the lady said it made a huge difference and that she'd begun to take a new interest in cooking and was preparing herself far more nutritionally balanced meals. Seafarers are proud people who believe in providing for themselves and they're often forced to live in poverty rather than ask for help. But look around your home. Look at the consumer goods we take for granted, the food on your table. It's quite obvious that the standard of living we enjoy would not be possible without the merchant mariners and fishermen. Every year, the Shipwreck Mariners Society pays out grants totaling nearly £2 million in around 3,000 cases of need. And each year, the Society receives, on average, over 600 new applications for assistance. I encourage you to consider how you can help the Shipwreck Mariners to bring some small comfort to those who have given so much and who are in such need. The charity has a website at www.shipwreckmariners.org.uk where you can learn more about the excellent work they do. Make an online donation, request a catalogue for their quality Christmas cards and everyday charity cards, which form the basis of the Society's only national fundraising appeal. Whatever you're able to do, please do something, however small, it will make a real difference. Contact the Shipwreck Mariners Society at 1 North Palant, Chichester, P0191TL. I'll repeat that. The Shipwreck Mariners Society, 1 North Palant, Chichester, P0191TL. Thank you for your time and your support.